If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the best players at each position in Madden 20. Guys, this will be the final list for the rest of Madden because we did get some new Ultimate Legends. So we got the final ULs, which may have been the final promo. So at this point, I feel like it's safe to go ahead and do the final list for the best player at each position. Let's slowly get to this, guys, because we do know this can take quite a long time sometimes if we don't get right into it so before we get into today's video and go through all these players make sure you go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on your boys come join the family make sure this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already let me know down below as the video progresses though who you believe should be at which spot so i'm no longer going to probably do 1a 1b i'm going to go right into who i believe is the best of each one and then lineman we already know how that deal works but we'll get into this slowly so we come to quarterback quarterback prices are obviously super cheap at this point considering what you guys are probably used to so I think the best quarterback in Madden 20 to end the year, guys, is going to be Lamar Jackson. I think Lamar Jackson is just phenomenal. He is the only quarterback in the game that can quite literally do everything, or at least the best at doing everything. So he is going to have maxed up speed, maxed up throwing, maxed up throw under pressure. Pretty much, his whole card is going to be 99. If you kept him right, his whole card will be a 99. You just can't argue that. And he's going to be decently tall, going to get great abilities, going to get human joystick, going to get escape artist, going to get dash and dead eye, going to get... Um, gunslinger, maybe protected, maybe conducted, depending on what you're feeling there. Hot route master. Guys, this card's literally insane. Can't argue that. So, Lamar Jackson ends as the best quarterback. And we kind of could have saw it coming because he has, he'd one of the most dominant quarterback cards for a, a large portion of the year, then went off the grid for a little bit, and then he was back. Halfback, most. Okay, so obviously it's Bo Jackson. Now, if you compare these two, who's better? Obviously, Golden Ticket's better just because of abilities, but if you want to save your money, I mean, right now, they're not too far apart in price, but the best one's going to be this Bo Jackson right here. If you want a budgety version, goes the other one. The only difference is really going to be the abilities and a few stats, but this card's going to get 99 everything. You, you literally, you power him up, or you can't power him up, you chem him up. He's going to end up with 99 everything, minus catching, which is great. He's going to get power boost, so he can get like bulldozer, or he can get bruiser, he can get human joystick, he can get evasive. And whatever else you want, like an inside guru, outside zone guru, maybe a receiving one, backfield mismatch, grab and go, which you don't really need because you have human joystick, but you guys get the point. This Bo Jackson is the best running back for the year. Fullback, I still don't think the best fullback is this Franco Harris. I think it's Christian Okoye. Still pretty expensive, that's because he's the best fullback. You get the speed, you get the catch, you get the blocking. Really just can't go wrong with him. Wide receivers. Now, when it comes to wide receivers, I'll give you two to three here. So, in my opinion, the best wide receiver for the year was Julio Jones. This Julio Jones is, stat-wise, going to cap out at around 99 almost everything while being tall, while getting great abilities, and being great after the catch. Second wide receiver for the year, I really like Randy Moss. I mean, obviously, Kelvin Benjamin's really good, but I think you match up Julio and Randy Moss height-wise on both sides of the ball. You guys, you got some monsters. Because, again, Kelvin Benjamin's tall, he's great, but he is kind of slow. It's going to hurt him a little bit, but here you get max out speed, close to max out catching. Gonna be high to mid 90 route running minus steep route running, which is 99. And for your third receiver, guys, I really don't have a personal preference. I really think it just depends on your play style. I use my Tory Holt. I was I was cool with Tory Holt. Um, you can go Quincy Noonra and Noonwa. He's gonna have to be a pretty decent slot for you. But I stuck with Tory Holt. Tight end. Tight end's always a preference because if you it depends on your offense. If you use him as like a red zone threat, you don't need him to be too fast. If you use him as like a field stretcher, you need him to be fast. So at this point in time, guys, I really did like Gronk. I did, but he is he's pretty much Zach Gentry, close to Zach Gentry, minus the run block. So if you made if you made uh so look here closely, the route running and the catching traffic. If you made Zach Gentry a worse of a, a route runner and you turned him into a slightly worse catcher, but improved his route uh, run blocking, you get Gronkowski, or you get Zach Gentry, which is going to be a much better route runner. So Zach Gentry is going to end the year as the best well, tight end, in my opinion. But if you want a, uh, a more budgety option, you can take Gronk at 200k, who will be slightly worse, but you save close to a million coins on that one. I think Zach Gentry is great. Now, again, linemen are very circumstantial. It really just depends on how you play. Uh, I'm going to have to go more than likely if you're if you're a pass blocker, if you're a pass guy, Joe Thomas. If you are a run guy, Andrew Thomas. Now, of course, there are the power expansions, which I recommend you go check them out. I do not remember off the top of my head which ones they were, but I'm going off the cards on the block. But power expansions, again, they're linemen. It really just, it's all circumstantial. Randall McDaniel is great, but I recommend you go. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up here. I believe. Yeah. Okay. 
I recommend you just go random again or one of the power up expansions. Again, the power up expansions, some of them are good, some of them are bad. Joe Thune is going to be the better pass blocker, worse run blocker. Randall McDaniel is more of a balanced act, so I would go with him and then power him up, of course. Center. Center, there is a power expansion center. I believe it was Dwight Stevenson, so you're going to want to go with him for the Miami Dolphins. Right guard, Larry Allen. He's an LTD, though, which is going to suck. So I rec, obviously, he's the best one. He's going to cap out almost everything 99. Now, if you can't afford that, the next best option would probably be. I really like, honestly, I really did like uh, the Zach Martin. He's very well rounded. Power him up, cap him up. You can get him up pretty high. Considering the overall and the price, I thought he was great. I, I still have him actually because I never had the I can't upgrade to Zach Ma. Zach Allen, that's too crazy. Right tackle. We are going to go with I really do like Jonathan Ogden and I like ooh, it's like Dan Diodorf. Dan Diodorf is gonna be more of a budget option. Jonathan Ogden is super expensive. But he is great. He's going to be a great run blocker and a great pass blocker. And shrunk any six for nine, which I actually didn't know for quite a while. That's it's, it's really tall. Now going over to left end. Left end Reggie White. Is probably going to be the best one which is the golden ticket now people say he plays bad which i've heard quite a bit now joe klecko is okay but nothing compares to reggie white who has 99 99 99 99 his whole car is 99 minus his athleticism which is fine because i will get to an 87 on my team but reggie white going to be the best one although people say he doesn't play great if you don't want to waste your coins then you can always go the more budget uh, reggie white which is very very similar minus the finesse but he still has the power right end let's move on down now, Miles Garrett's really good. I'm personally, I personally like my Aaron Donald. They never really released two glitchy of right ends. If you, want, if you want like a speedy right end, you can go Simeon Rice. He's going to be your speedy finesse rusher real quick off the edge. If you want a more balanced act, you go Miles Garrett or you go Aaron Donald. Now, it really just depends on the way you play. The scheme you run and where you put them in, like if you put them in the middle, if you put them at DT, if you put them on the outside, it really just depends. Now, defensive tackle, I like Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe Green's going to be a better run stop, uh, run stopper while being a pretty good enough pass rusher and being fast and being strong. Now, John Randall, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit faster, but he's going to be a, he's going to be a better finesse move guy, but a, a worse run blocker. So it comes down to Mean Joe Green will stop the run more. John Randall will pass rush more. It really comes down to who you prefer. The, I, honest, I, I like Joe Green as a guy, as a player, but John Randall may take the edge. It really just depends on which intangibles you're looking for. Left outside linebacker. I really like the new Bobby Bell personally, but that can't be the best one. Best one, especially in this year's meta, is going to be Brian Burns. 94 speed, 97 excel. Max out finesse move. Great for a block. He's going to be a he's going to be an amazing pass rusher. While also, if you if you get stuck on him or something, you can user him. He's six or five with a 94 speed. Going to be a great user. Now middle linebacker, a guy I can never quite afford, especially because of all the money I spent on packs and stuff as of late. Is going to be Rock. Troy Palomalu probably be the most fun middle linebackers to ever play with. He has he will have on my team gonna have a 99 hip a uh, 98 hip power, which have 99 zone, 99 play rec, and 98 speed. He's going to be the fastest, hardest hitting. So he is 5'10, which is a little bit short, but I know that jumping and athleticism is going to make up for it because my my safety plays really well. Right as a linebacker, it's a no-brainer. You just gotta go every single time to Lawrence Taylor. Game breaking. He always is. Don't have to explain him too much. Going to be a great pass rusher. Going to be great at pretty much everything. Mine is pass coverage, but Lawrence Taylor should never be in pass coverage unless you call the wrong defenses. Cornerbacks. Oh, people say he doesn't play too great. I personally think this is going to be my lineup. I love the Shalen Ramsey. He's going to be Matt. He's going to be one of the best coverage guys. Great speed, great height, and his hit power. I like hit power in my on my corners. I hate not, I hate nothing gets me more mad than running backs breaking to the outside every play. And Deion Sanders and them guys always getting like thrown uh, thrown aside, not being able to tackle, not being able to lay a boom. So I'm gonna go Jalen Ramsey, Night Train Lane, and I want Mike Evans. In my opinion, that's just a great three for me. Now is that the meta? I don't know, guys. This is based off what I think. Ch obviously, Champ Bailey is really good. He could replace Night Train Lane, but Night Train Lane has that Deion Sanders type feel when he touches the ball. So here, here are my two lineups. I'd go Night Train Lane and Champ Bailey with Deion in the slot. Or if you want to go the full height package, you go Night Train Lane, Mike Evans, and Jalen Ramsey. That's like the height hitting package. But if you want to go like that finesse, like, you know, can take every interception back, Nitro Lane, Champ Bailey, and Dion in the slot, or the nickel back. That's just my opinion, though. Free safety. Ooh, this one's tough. So, that's Sean Taylor is amazing. It's going to be between Sean Taylor. So, Taylor, so, Sean Taylor is a hard hitter, tall, fast, great zone coverage. Brian Dawkins, hard hitter, zone, fast, great zone coverage, but better man. So, I think this Brian Dawkins slightly is better than this Sean Taylor, although he does get, um, he does have less height. Now, Calvin Johnson is going to be the complete ball hawk kind of guy, but it's the height you're talking about. So here's the thing. 
Well, simple way, but if you use your safety, Calvin's the best guy. If you don't use your safety, it's going to be between Brian Dawkins and it's going to be uh, with Sean Taylor. If you value the two inches, you go Sean Taylor. If you do not, you go Brian Dawkins. Pretty much it there. But again, if you use your safety, you want to go Calvin all day because a six plus five is a user going to throw. Like people are going to think they have space and they really don't. Oh, and this Taylor Mays is just, he took he took the lead of strong safety and ran with it for the rest of the year. Taylor Mays, maxed out speed on my team. Going to have maxed out zone coverage. Just about, I think one short actually. Uh, he's going to have above 90 threshold man while having almost maxed out play. He's going to have almost maxed out everything at safety. Let's make it even better. He's great in the run game and he's six for three. Guys, that's about it for the video. That is the best player in this position. I, you guys always want to see kicker. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just take the best one. There you go. Max out kick power. If you want a budgety option, go Zane Gonzalez. Should be a lot cheaper. Team of the year promo. But that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to blow. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, let me know down below who you would have added or taken off this list. I'm out. Peace.